We know that you have given us the mandate in 1 Timothy chapter 2, verses 1 through 3 to pray for those who are in authority, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey everyone, how you doing? Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time ever seeing any one of my videos, hello, my name is Shalana Janelle. I'm a preacher, singer, songwriter, and author. It's a blessing to have you. Today I wanted to do a prayer for Washington, D.C. because I happen to right now be in Washington, D.C. And 1 Timothy chapter 2 verse 1 and 2 says, I exhort therefore that first of all supplications, prayers, intercessions, and giving of thanks be made for all men for kings and for all that are in authority that we may lead a quiet and peaceful life in all godliness and honesty for this is good and acceptable in the sight of god our savior amen and so god wants us to always to pray for those in authority to pray for those who have leadership over us and so since i'm in washington dc i figured why not pray for washington amen and so let's get right into some prayers and declaration for this place, Washington, D.C. As we are Americans, we know our president lives in Washington, D.C. We know a lot of stuff goes on in Washington, D.C., so let's pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I just thank you, Lord God, for this awesome place. I thank you, Lord God, for what you have put in place, the leadership that you have put in place. God, I ask that you just begin to touch the heart of our president, touch the heart of those who are in the White House, God. Lord, as you have already placed your people, in position God I ask that you begin to prepare them to go forth prepare them to be brought forth into even a higher place to be brought forth into the forefront in the name of Jesus and Lord I also ask God that you begin to raise up new people God who you are gonna place in position who you're gonna place in that White House who you're gonna call and raise up to bring a shift into this place to bring a shift into this city to bring a shift into the White House to bring a shift into Everything that has to do with politics, everything that has to do with this nation, Lord God, raise up those people who are bold in spirit, who are bold in what they do, who are bold in what you have taught them, who are bold in, in the scriptures, who are also learned in, in, in even the natural things, learned in uh, having the right degrees, having the right knowledge, Lord God. Let them have an excellent spirit, God. Let them be skilled. You said that you have breathed within your children, God, to give them all manner of skill and workmanship, God. So, Lord, I pray right now as we're even prepared people that they will operate in all skill hallelujah and workmanship in the name of Jesus Lord God and I even speak a declaration over this place God that in the name of Jesus Washington DC shall be a place that gives you glory Washington DC shall be a place where the glory of God is revealed in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth this shall be a place hallelujah where God's word will be able to be freely spoken this shall be a place where prophets and prophetesses are ri ri risen up hallelujah in the spirit God this should be a place where evangelists begin to go forth into and they begin to be birthed and come out of in the name of Jesus I speak right now hallelujah in the name of Jesus that the president will learn more of you the president will grow you the president will surrender to you the president will hallelujah bow down to you for you said that every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord not that any man is Lord but that Jesus Christ is Lord and so I thank you God hallelujah for what you are doing in this place for what you are doing in this nation for what you are doing in the White House God I thank you God and I ask that you put a supernatural hedge of protection upon our president upon all those who are in the White House upon even the Secret Service God let them be protected by your supernatural hedge in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth there are many people who may want to do who have ill will towards them but Lord in the name of Jesus protect them from every single wow of the devil protect them even from every single lie that the devil tries to plant God Lord I ask that you begin to go in and search the hearts and fix the hearts of anyone who has false motives who has wrong motives or who has even just worldly motives worldly ways and devilish ways god begin to change because So even though people may not like our president, they may not like the whole uh, um, governmental system that's going on, but Lord, we know that your will will be done no matter what. We know that you have given us the mandate in 1 Timothy chapter 2, verses 1 through 3, to pray for those who are in authority, God. And we speak these things, pray these things, and declare these things in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. It is so, it is finished, it is finished. In Jesus' name, amen. Guys, I pray you are blessed by this prayer. You guys listen to this prayer. Let it 
uh, um, just stir your spirit and begin to pray for those who are in authority, those who are in authority in your church, those who are in authority in your household, those who are in authority in this nation, or wherever you are across the globe. Begin to pray for people. Hallelujah. Amen. If this has blessed you, please like, please subscribe, please share this on social media, share it all over the whole world, and you all have a blessed and prosperous rest of your day today. In Jesus' name, you guys know I love you with the love of Christ, but Jesus Christ loves you more. Amen. Be blessed. I exhort, therefore, that first of all, supplications, prayers, intercessions, and giving of thanks be made for all men, for kings, and for all that are in authority, that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and honesty. For this is good and acceptable in the sight of God, our Savior. First Timothy chapter 2, verses 1 through 3.